The World Health Organization says that problems associated with obesity and being overweight will surpass the problems associated with smoking in several countries. Countries all over the world are battling this crisis in men, women and children. Childhood obesity in India, for example, has an increase, annual increase of 9.1%. In women, it is at 5.2%. What is going on then? Remember, this is not just obesity. It leads to a wall pool of other problems associated with obesity. Health 60 this week is putting the spotlight on how many are looking for quick fix solutions. Bariatric surgeries have also increased in India and there is a whole new booming industry to manage your weight. I'm Sneha Mordani, this is Healthy 60 and this is Fat of the Matter. 38% of the world population is already obese and the number is going to go up to 50% by the year we reach 2035. What really is going on? Is poor lifestyle the only reason behind obesity or are there other reasons as well? How is being obese different from being overweight? What are the causes of obesity? This report tells you all the details. A disease that will be making 50% of the world ill by the year 2035. Four in ten adults in India are either overweight or clinically obese. The World Obesity Federation projects that obesity in India will grow at an annual rate of 5.2% in adults and in kids at 9.1%. The WHO, the World Health Organization, defines overweight and obesity as abnormal or excessive fat accumulation and presents a risk to health. Now, you need to understand that BMI, which is the body mass index, is a calculator of the height in the human body to the best possible weight that a person can have. Now, a lot of times, people's height don't change once they become adults, but their weight fluctuates up or down. When your BMI crosses 24.7, you move into the obese category. So this is an area that you want to be watching. Is your BMI higher than 24.7? If it is, well, a lot of people who walk into my nutrition clinic are shocked when I tell them, Sir, ma'am, you are obese. And they're like, who? Me? But my weight's only 95 kgs. It's the measure of understanding from medical sciences that you don't need so much of weight on your body and therefore you're classified in the obese segment. The issue has grown to epidemic proportions, with over 4 million people dying each year as a result of being overweight or obese in 2017. Rates of overweight and obesity continue to grow in adults and in children. From 1975 to the year 2016, the prevalence of overweight or obese children and adolescents between the age of 5 to 19 has increased more than fourfold from 4% 4 to 18%. Globally, obesity is one side of the double burden of malnutrition and today more people are obese than underweight in every region except sub-Saharan Africa and Asia. Once considered a problem only in high-income countries, overweight and obesity are not dramatically on the rise in low and middle-income countries as well, particularly in urban settings. Take India for example. The vast majority of overweight or obese children live in developing countries where the rate of increase has been more than 30% higher than that of developed countries. The Indians and Asians are basically prone for obesity because we have a gene called thrifty genes and we conserve energy. You know, that is one reason. Now, if you look at from 99, 2000 onwards, the obesity is becoming co very common and possibly a cause of concern. It is because of we have got a spare money, we have got uh, outlets where the fast foods are available which are high in calorie. Uh, transportation has become uh, uh, motorized. So you are not walking enough to burn the calories. And this is the imbalance between uh, caloric intake as well as the caloric output. And that is causing more and more uh, of the weight gain. Obesity is a complex disease involving having too much body fat. Obesity isn't just a cosmetic concern. It's a medical problem that increases the risk of many other diseases and health problems as well. These can include heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, liver disease, sleep apnea, 
and certain cancers. Well, there are many reasons why some people have trouble losing weight. Often obesity results from inherited physiological and environmental factors combined with diet, physical activity and exercise choices. Genetic component that should not be ignored. Some people carry an obesity gene. But nevertheless, you can totally change your phenotype by having a good lifestyle. Other causes of obesity can be psychiatric disorders like eating disorders. And uh, some of the factors are also coming from your cultural background. What kind of food have you been accustomed to and how much early your fat cells were formed that it leads to obesity as a young adult or later on also. Genetics also has a role to play. Obesity has a strong genetic component. Children of parents with obesity are much more likely to have obesity than children of lean parents. At childhood itself, they are paying more attention towards the reading and the books and less time is spent on actual physical activity like sports. Uh, more time is spent on computer education rather than the uh, physical education. So that has reduced the caloric output of our young population. Child, if he is obese, there are 70 to 80 percent chances that he will become the obese adult. So childhood obesity is concerned because the same child when he becomes adult will also remain obese and will bring lot of diseases like diabetes, hypertension at much, much younger age than what we see otherwise. Junk foods, heavily processed foods are often little more than refined ingredients mixed with additives. Food addiction, the kind of dopamine high that you just do not need. Insulin. Now, insulin is a very important hormone that regulates energy storage, among other things. One of its functions is to tell fat cells to store fat and to hold on to the fat they already carry. The Western diet promotes insulin resistance in many overweight and individuals with obesity. This elevates insulin levels all over the body, causing energy to get stored in fat cells instead of being available for use. A certain medications Many pharmaceutical drugs can cause weight gain as a side effect, like antidepressants, for example. Sugar is another culprit. Added sugar may be the single worst aspect of the modern diet. It changes the hormones and biochemistry of your body when consumed in excess, contributing to weight gain. So nutrition, the whole human race needs to eat. And when we eat, we get calories in. When we do any physical activities, calories out. Now in today's day and age, the human race is eating more then it's expending, which explains this new pandemic of obesity. Meaning, I'm eating more food, therefore getting more calories into me, and my body's saying, hey, you're giving me a surplus. In fact, a lot of the obesity, I compare to a bank balance. When you, when you do a lot of deposits, you have a hefty deposit, a hefty fixed deposit. And when you do a lot of expenditure and you don't get enough of incoming money, then you have a very low bank balance. The human body is like that. For people who get heavier, for people who get obese, they tend to have a greater calorie intake or a metabolic disease or a genetic issue. Now, unless there is some medical condition getting in your way, it is within your power to control your weight. The good news is that even modest weight loss can improve or prevent the health problems associated with obesity. A healthier diet, increased physical activity and behavior changes can help you lose weight. Prescription medicines and weight loss procedures are other options for treating obesity. 40,000 weight loss surgeries done in the year 2022. That's the size of the weight loss industry. These figures give an idea about how people are just so keen to lose weight. And guess what? Pharmaceutical companies are making the most of it, very keen on capitalizing this desire in Indians to lose their extra fat and look good. This industry is booming. That's actually an understatement. Shitaja Gosavi gets us this report. US drug maker Eli Lilly has found its new market. It's all set to introduce its obesity drug Tirzipatite in India as early as next year. (music) 
India is seeing a rate of annual increase in obesity at 5.2%. No wonder then that the country is catching on the craze of weight loss and are just too eager to buy Ozempic or Monjaro, whatever they get their hands on. Even travel overseas for these medicines. India's anti-obesity market has witnessed a significant surge, tripling in size over just two years following the launch of Novo Nordisk's semaglutide, Ozempic in 2022. The market, which had seen sluggish growth until 2021, rocketed to a staggering 474 crores by January 2024, marking a 32% compound annual growth rate over the five years, according to Pharma Rank. Nowadays, a lot of people are coming in the OPD for quick fix. Like they want, they don't want surgery. They don't want any problem, a long-term problem with the surgery. They think that surgery will create a lot of problems. So they want a quick fix. So they go for uh, the uh, different type of uh, diet which may be little harmful without any dietitian uh, reference. Also there are people who are taking uh, medicine, uh, the newer medicine and the injectable without doctor's prescription directly from the chemist they are taking that. So that can cause a lot of side effect. So I would request not to go for the quick fix uh, treatment of obesity but it should be a scientific approach to treat the obesity depending upon the BMI. Semaglutide is an anti-diabetic medication used for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and an anti-obesity medication used for long-term weight management. Commercially, it is also called Ozempic or Vigovi or Ribelsis, drugs that are sold by Novodisc. The introduction of these anti-diabetic medicines in India has been necessitated by the growing concern of obesity in India where the prevalence rate stands at approximately 22% among the main population, 23% among females and 11% in children. There's a lot of demand for medications in obesity because of the fact that people don't want to change lifestyle because it takes time and you want to experience good food and not do much exercise. I think because we are lazy, that's all. But that's why there are these medicines in, um, now which, which are coming all around. We can see a lot of medications for weight loss. Basically, all they do is suppress appetite. So when you suppress appetite, you eat less, but you still eat your favorite food. So basically, you still didn't change your lifestyle. And how long can you take a medication for weight loss? Indian pharmaceutical companies are now eyeing this lucrative market, aiming to introduce a range of anti-obesity drugs tailored to combat the growing epidemic. The global market is already familiar with brands like Vigovi, Ozempic and Mahunjaro, which have set the precedent for successful weight management solutions. Apart from growth in demand for anti-obesity drugs, there is also a demand for products related to weight loss and apps that would help you achieve your goals. As per the Indian Healthcare Apps Market Report 2021, the apps market was valued at 4,341 crores in 2020 and is estimated to reach 33,789 crores by 2026. According to Accurize Market Research, India's fitness and nutrition app market will surpass 1.41 lakh crore by 2013. This pertains to apps like Runkeeper and Fitbit. The desire to have fit bodies, the association of lean and slender with fit and healthy, has fueled further demand for bariatric surgeries in India. According to a report by Global Data, around 40,000 weight management surgeries were performed in India in 2022. If, you're, if your stomach is this big, they're going to make the pouch that small. So what happens with such patients is that if they have not changed their lifestyle, they are first, they're going to crave that food. So always bariatric surgery should be having a six month pre-operative program where they make person used to the better life, better eating habits. When the pouch is that small and if you eat more, you will get vomiting. The problem with bariatric is that you get a lot of loose skin. So bariatric surgery, increasing demand should not mean that people are looking for shortcuts. It should mean that we are actually trying to curtail obesity.
India's love affair with weight loss has perhaps only begun. But what needs to be kept in mind that each of these procedures like weight loss pills or diet needs to be done only and only after a doctor green flags it. With video journalist Manish Cha, this is Shitija Gosavi for India Today. Well, here's a wrap on all interesting news around obesity. Eli Lilly plans to launch its obesity drug in India next year. The drug, also known as Monjaro for diabetes and Zebbound for weight loss in the US, may see authorized genetic versions. The Center for Disease Control says what it calls an obesity epidemic is costing airlines in higher fuel charges to carry around heavier passengers. Heavy suitcases clearly aren't the only things weighing down airplanes and requiring them to burn more fuel, pushing up the cost of flights. A new government study reveals that airlines increasingly have to worry more about the weight of their passengers as well. America's growing waistlines are hurting the bottom lines of airline companies as the extra pounds on passengers are causing a drag on planes. Heavier flyers have created heftier fuel costs, according to the government study. Weight loss drugs then are expected to save airlines millions. Obesity drugs have another superpower, taming inflation. The medications that reduce body weight also reduce inflammation in organs like the brain, raising hopes that they can treat Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. More research is being done around this. Welcome back. We're talking about obesity, the huge problem that it is, the misconceptions around obesity and what can one do? How does one identify the disease and deal with this essentially? Now to talk about obesity and much more lifestyle problems, I'm being joined by one of India's best bariatric surgeons, Dr. Mufazil Lakrawala is with us. He also is the doctor of Mr. Anand Tambani. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Lakrawala, here on the show. Dr. Lakrawala, a lot of misconceptions surround obesity. A lot of people think that those people who are obese are either just eating non-stop or just not moving. But the fact of the matter is that lifestyle is just one aspect of this. There are many other reasons for obesity. So obesity mainly is a chronic disease of fat accumulation, which causes a host of problems. Uh, by chronicity, we mean that it is long lasting. It's not an acute problem that comes and goes away with time. The other thing is that it is multifactorial. So you cannot always blame your genes for your being obese. There are at least 150 odd genes which have been isolated, which might be linked to obesity in some form or the other. But there are many, many more in the pipeline that might get picked up. Currently, we do know that monogenic obesity or obesity which happens once we are born and in the first two or three years of your life can be probably related to a genetic cause of obesity. The next most common thing that most Average people, lay people understand obesity is because of your thyroid problem. Now, let me clarify this once and for all. Endocrine causes of obesity, be it the thyroid, be it your tiny little gland which sits on top of the kidney called the adrenal gland, might account for maybe 5% of all causes of obesity. And that is, so when you're uh, hypothyroid, even when you're grossly hypothyroid, you probably put on 8 to 10 kilos at max. That is because of water retention and various other things. However, uh, if you were to spin it around, obesity further worsens your hypothyroid status and might cause you to further increasing your medications for hypothyroid. The other problem is the uh, adrenal gland, which causes something called as Cushing syndrome, which causes moon phase, it causes water retention across the body, and that can account to a lot of obesity, which can be medically treated. However, 90% or more causes of obesity are usually lifestyle related. Now, why I say that is because it's probably the thrifty gene in the years gone by when our body adapted to famines and less of food, our genes modified in such a way that it was not ready for this new generation of fast food. It was not ready for this new generation of lifestyle disorders. It was not ready for this new generation of lack of sleep, which all has been brought on. So I believe that when our genes modified, it loaded the gun. I believe that today's lifestyle has pulled the trigger and that's why we have so many people struggling with obesity. You know, Dr. Lakrawala, you've been the doctor of Anand Ambani. We saw his miraculous transformation a few years ago. Uh, for a patient like Anand Ambani, who's been obese, you spoke about the fact that he's 
he's been battling obesity ever since he was a child you know how has his journey really been right from the time he gained weight then he lost it and now he's gained that weight back again ananta bani has struggled with uh, a weight problem since his childhood since the age of 2 he was diagnosed with asthma and he had to be put on a lot of steroids and medications for that and that is why he kept putting on weight so quite unlike the rest of the members of his family he unfortunately was designed to put on more weight because of the diseases that came along with it he tried a lot and in fact a few years back he did miraculously well wherein he lost more than 120 odd kilos to reach where he did at 79 kilos now most people thought that he probably looked at a short term solution like surgery or various other options but that was not true he had decided and he he went on to a below 500 kilo calorie diet he was exercising regularly and various other things unfortunately with obesity what happens is that what you try once doesn't necessarily work the same way as it does with you and uh, when your body is predisposed to obesity for example if your body is used to being 200 kilos that's the set point So your body will always try to pull you back up to that 200 kilos when you let your guard just that wee bit long. You don't have to make too many mistakes like you normally do. So, for example, if I were to go out and eat a samosa, my reaction of my body would be completely different from what Anand's body's reaction would be. He would so much as need to just smell the samosa and he would tend to put on weight. So, like I said, he did miraculously well. It was not only self determination plus the diet and exercise regime that he followed. This time round when the same diet regime did not work we tried to put him on a 500 kilo calorie and below diet because we thought that his body's basal metabolic rate required that for him to sustain and lose that weight he's one of those guys who's very very motivated the biggest problem with obesity is that it stigmatizes you and it uh, because of the stigma you feel mentally down but he's very positive about overcoming this and that's the great thing about him that he keeps fighting this battle internally mentally for himself as well as for the people that he's exposed to uh he's very positive that he'll probably overcome this and this time I'm trying to help him again fight this battle he's done very well again in the in the lead up a lot of the diseases that he had associated with obesity seem to be receding only because he's lost significant amount of weight again but it's always going to be a struggle for him and that road is always going to be uphill how long he keeps maintaining himself mentally and physically is always going to be a challenge for him All right Dr Lakhrawal I'm going to thank you so much for joining us and sharing your views with us on obesity and putting that much needed spotlight on this disease. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Well that brings us to the end of this edition of Healthy 60. We hope you enjoyed watching the show as much as we did putting it together for you. We sincerely hope you found it informative as well. You can find this report and much more up on our website too that's indiatoday.in or download the app all of health 360's reports around health and wellness can be found on india today's social media platforms that's instagram youtube twitter and facebook until next time from the entire team of health 360 thank you so much for watching take care of yourself